Hello, my name is Dr. Tedrick Dunson, board certified anesthesiologist, board certified pain management physician with a specialty in regenerative medicine. At this point, you obviously have some interest in regenerative medicine or, and stem cell treatment. So I'm going to answer a few questions that you may have regarding that therapy. I know when it comes to stem cell treatment or regenerative medicine, one of the first questions that come to mind is, will this help me? Well, I can't answer that question for you, but it does help a number of disease states, including torn or strained ligaments and tendons, low back pain, neck pains of various types, whether it's from the joints in your neck or back or from the disc can also help various states of arthritis. But one of the bigger questions about will it help you is based on the qualifications of the person placing the treatments on where those treatments are coming from and the experience level of the person placing the treatments. To address the first part of that question, um, who is placing those stem cells and actually who is retrieving the cells to begin with. Um, it should be someone who has a specialty and expertise in injections and someone who has expertise in removing stem cells or obtaining PRP if that is the desired approach. Um, it should be someone who is fully qualified to do these things. Personally, being a board-certified pantymaster physician, I've done thousands of injections over the past 10 years. My training consists of performing interventional procedures and performing injections in various sites, including the epidural space and into various nerves and around nerves. I also have the expertise of doing injections into joints. The second part of that question is, where are the source of your stem cells coming from? Well, stem cells are available at various places within the body, and they can help with multiple um, tissues. The best source of stem cells within the human adult is actually the bone marrow, and the best source of bone marrow stem cells is the pelvic bone. Um, other sources of regenerative medicine using PRP is from the blood. What PRP is is platelet-rich plasma, which are packets of chemicals within the blood that have a variety of growth factors and natural healing molecules. And those are extracted from the blood after it is drawn and concentrated via centrifuge. The main takeaway is that not all stem cell treatments are the same. There are many places where they are <clears throat> promoting amniotic or placental tissues as actual true stem cells. They are actually not true stem cells. There is no FDA approval for use of these products and they may be expensive alternatives that may not provide you with a significant benefit. To address the third part of that question, we're going to look at how are these stem cells or PRP placed? Now, this is probably one of the most crucial aspects. Once you obtain these cells, which again should be done by a qualified physician or a qualified provider, to hopefully a physician, then you have to say, where, how will these cells be placed in the proper place? Usually this should be done by either the use of fluoroscopy, which is an x-ray machine, to place these stem cells around bony areas, or through the use of ultrasound to place the stem cells or PRP in soft tissue. This should be done by someone who has extensive experience and training and such. Again, as a board certified pain management physician, I've done thousands of these injections, and we do have this equipment actually in our office. So you're not having to go out to a different surgery center or have other 
expenses that may be associated with an outside source.